In this special edition of tutorials, we will create the legs for our minifigure. Use the Tangent Constrain and Trim tool, mirror our component, and so much more. So welcome to the Learn It channel, Lesson 10D. So what's next? Well, with this tutorial, we are moving on to the legs. So let's just take a little look there. I am going to uh, hide the right leg. And there we have it. So we've got probably the easiest component in all of our uh, tutorials right now. So let's dive into it. Let's create a new design. And we are going to save this as legs. Now, because we have two of them, we actually have to right click new component. And we're going to call this left leg. There we go. All we're going to do is if we look at our drawing here, right leg, left leg, right and left legs are mirrored. So we only have to design one and then we can mirror it, our component for our next one. So when we do that, it will create a completely new component and we can rename it at that point. So let's go back to our drawing. And here we go. We're going to start off with the absolute basics as well. We're going to uh, sketch all of this and then we're going to extrude it and then do our fillets later on. So let's start off with our circle right here. It is a radius value of 0.138. So let's do that. We're going to create a sketch on our YZ plane. And we can just create a circle here. We're going to call it 0.138 times 2. Great. Awesome. But we're not done yet. We're just going to keep on sketching here. So this line is also 0.138. So it is actually tangent to this circle. And, well, it looks like I have missed this dimension as well. So let's go to our drawing and we are going to add it here, 0.425. So let's do that. Okay, so 0.425 and it is tangent to the outside there. So this is the really cool thing is we don't have to assume where tangency is, we can constrain it. So here we go. We're just gonna drop it down, make sure that our vertical constraint comes up and then immediately go to our tangent constraint and make those two tangent together. So it's 0.425. Let's do that from here to the end. 0.425. Great. Let's go back over to our drawing. It's 350. And then another one, 125. Well, let's just do all these shapes first of all. Let's do that. You can see that this line and the circle are not tangent in our drawings. Great. So this is 260 thou from there to there and 350 from there to there. So let's do that. So D, 260, D, 0.35. This one I remember is 0.125. Great. And there's nothing else left to do. So we could actually go to our trim tool and trim this. Sometimes we get errors. If we haven't properly dimensioned and constrained our part, you will probably see an error come up. So in this instance, we've done it very well and we can trim it out. There is our leg. So remember, this is our left leg. So we're going to extrude it that way. And we're going to go 0.272 and then fill it everything. Oh, let's not forget our hole later on as well. This actually is the right leg that we have as a drawing, but that's okay. We're just going to reverse it and then mirror it later on. So 0.272, let's do that first. Minus 0.272, great. And then let's put our hole on this side. So again, this hole is 0.2 deep and 65 thou in diameter. So let's do that. 65 thou. And because we've built our primary circle around the origin, well, we can just select the origin point there too. Let's extrude this inwards, 0.2, perfect. 
and now we're going to fill it everything. So let's just select that face, that face, here, here, and we can do that one too. Perfect, and let's call it 0 0.0025. Amazing, our left leg is done. So all we need to do now is mirror it, and we can select our object type as components. There we go. Mirror plane, so what do we pick as the mirror plane? Well, we can actually pick this face, that's no problem. Let's go OK. And you can see that immediately our uh, component in the browser here is on its own and it's not activated. So let's call this right leg. Great. We can highlight our, our entire assembly and then look at what we can do. We can move these two legs later on when we need to. So let's just go back in time there and leave those two legs as it is. So just before we finish, let's apply the appearance. Remember A for the shortcut. And we're just going to go right back to our blue. There we go and find our enamel glossy blue. And here we can just actually, we don't have to put it into the design. We can just drag and drop it right onto our components. One, two, and there we have it. Congratulations, you just finished the legs. Make sure to join the next tutorial where we'll tackle the arms. See you then.